Hey everybody, it's Bunny, and it's time for another swap video. You guys probably already know, it's another swap with my friend here from YouTube, Melissa, AKA The Cheap Chick. We do swaps now every couple of months. She came up with a great idea many months ago to do a Dollar Tree swap. And you guys, I feel like I did mine like really uh, goofy, um, because really the $1.25 pricing now totally like throws me off. I couldn't remember if we picked an item limit or a budget limit and I think I went overboard either way. So needless to say I don't remember how many items is supposed to be in this box. Either way it's a I'll show you guys the box at the end of the video because it's a little heavy and I've got these arms. You guys I need to start like lifting weights. Should I do that? I feel like I should. Let me pull my hair back because I'm like a person, like I, if I'm doing something, you know, I've got to have my hair out of the way. Time to, that was nearly dangerous. Time to slice and dice. On top, look at this. I feel like her cards always have this super fun handwriting. Bunny! Why did I open the envelope like this? Oh, no! The beautiful font! So happy we've become such good friends. So fun doing these swaps. Gifts are on the top and Dollar Tree items under the Dollar Tree bags. Hope you get a good laugh and use for what I sent. Look at that. Ooh. I have a pair of sweatpants that look just like this. Ah! Ooh! Ooh! luxurious. It's like a duster of velvet duster. I know I've said this before. Um, I want to start like repurposing fabric again, like taking this item and turning it into something else. Like how pretty would this be as like a corset bodice? <laughs> okay. Isn't it kind of funny? Like how many different ways you can say this phrase? No, thank you. No. Thank you. Is there a third way? Ooh, I like this. You guys, I feel like this will even be good for a fashion transition video. I love poofy, ruffly clothing like this. I feel like I could wear this like for serious reasons. That sounds like scary, serious reasons. Like if I was like actually wearing clothes, you know what I mean? Or if I was like doing like a funny ha ha TikTok transition video. Y'all, this is gonna be a perfect addition to my garage decorations. She actually sent me another sign like this sometime last year. I'm pretty sure these come from the Michaels, like $5 craft boxes. I love unboxing those. I do a lot of that on my second channel, Banana Peppers, but every bunny welcome. The other one that's hanging in the garage says, bunny stop here, which is like, it's like perfect, you know? We also have a giant pencil. Does it really write? It's my official stationary swatching pad. It really writes. Why am I so shocked at that? Look, that's a good write too. If this was like a stationary video, I would rate this a perfect 10. It's funny. It's functional. What else do you need in life? We also have these two sisters. Is one of you good and one of you bad? Wait, did they in the Wizard of Oz have just directional witches for every direction? Or is it just an east and west kind of thing? I'm trying to see if this looks like it came from Michael's or the Dollar Tree. Because there was a Dollar Tree bag. I should have told you guys that. Let's pull the pull tab. <laughs> ah, one speaks and one doesn't speak. Can you imagine if you just like Y'all? Okay, there is This is just like an intermission. I'll wait. Are you done? It's so funny because I used to have a teacher that was like, it was a little bit traumatizing. And she said, I'll wait. And now I feel like I have adopted. I'll wait. There is an on off switch and I was flipping off and it's still laughing. So I guess it's just like a Furby in the night kind of thing. Like, you know, you're just gonna. Okay. Maybe it's not sound or motion activated. I don't know. Is it, is it gonna cackle some more? Stick around and find out. This looks like Hello Kitty. Is it a Hello Kitty balloon? I feel like the balloons with legs have come back in style. I keep seeing those on TikTok, like people walking balloons like through the mall. And that looks fun. It is, it's a, oh, she has a body. I wish I still had 
We used to have um, those balloon filling tanks, but ours long ago ran out of helium. Oh, I looked down and I saw a mug and I saw this and I was like, wait, is it like a wilting flower? No, it's paint. Look at that. All right, you guys, I'm gonna have to firmly say this is now Dollar Tree stuff because there is yet another Dollar Tree bag. Look, I'm like Indiana Jones or something going on an adventure. You guys, it's a can? Oh my God, it's a can of SpaghettiOs. Somehow I did not know that SpaghettiOs still made a like A to Z, you know, like it's a combination of like alphabet soup and SpaghettiOs. Sometimes I eat SpaghettiOs cold, just straight from the can. <sighs> Up next, another can. What is this? Pace nacho cheese sauce. Oh my gosh, you guys, I feel like I always see people finding like delicious and rare snacks at the Dollar Tree. Like last year, I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be at the Dollar Tree. There was Poolaid Kool-Aid, cool water flavored Kool-Aid. What does that taste like? You might ask. I was asking the very same thing. I never found it. All right, you guys, it looks like we've got more food. It's I love Funfetti. Funfetti is in fact my favorite flavor of cake usually. We have a couple more loose items and then we've got like a little backpack. I love sharks. This is so cute. I'm gonna put a succulent in this, I think. I could probably like drill little holes into the bottom for drainage. I don't know if this is something she thought about in her video or not, but I bet we're gonna have like wildly different things like that I could send her from my store that she didn't see in her store. Cause I'm pretty sure Dollar Tree is like that. Like they have like vastly different regional items. Cause I don't think I've seen a single thing in here at my Dollar Tree like this accessory kit. Can I put this on over my hat? I'm definitely going through like my beret phase. Like every day I'm like, what does this outfit need? Beret. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'll show you guys the box now. Cause didn't you want to see a cardboard box? Oh. See, that's what I'm saying. I've never seen these cute little backpacks at my Dollar Tree. I love stuff like this because once again, I do like all my stationary videos on banana peppers, but I like to group together like the current stationary that I'm using or like specific little items on the go. But I like to kind of group it like sometimes month by month in different bags. So let's see, is there anything in the front pocket? Oh, there is. It's like chock full. Ioni 3D faux mink lashes. Oh, these are very beautiful. Just my type of lashes. I'm sure you guys can see like the ones I've got on today. The bigger the lashes, the more that I like them. Oh, I'm gonna try this right now. I'm like trying to shake it up. This is called the Craft Decor Chalk Writer. Remember to smile today. I was about to start priming this pen because I thought it was gonna be like one of those paint markers that you kind of have to like prime. Look at this. It actually almost looks like a pastel. Oh my gosh. I was like, I don't have my second camera angle down here, but look at how fun that is. Now, I don't know. <gasps> okay, it does kind of smear if you rub it with your finger. It doesn't feel like it has like the ability to dry down. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm wrong. So I'm gonna like leave it sitting over here and we'll see if it ever does kind of mat down. And it's probably honestly for those little like chalkboards and stuff. Growing up, I had a lot of friends whose moms would like have these little chalkboards in the kitchen and they would like write down like what dinner was gonna be. Ew, we have a another uh, ballpoint pen. This almost seems like it would like light up. Oh, hello. I'm literally just clicking the pen. Look at this beautiful jewel. Oh my gosh. I should have kept unboxing because here is a chalkboard tag set. So I bet she picked out the chalkboard pen for the chalkboard tags. Ooh, jeweled faux mink lashes from the Mystic Collection. Oh my gosh! I had these one time when I was a kid. I went as the childlike empress from Never Ending Story. I don't know why I felt like that costume needed silver big eyelashes. Like what I'm 
pretty sure that's not in the movie. I feel like I always just picked the most obscure costumes. Let's unzip the main portion of the bag. Is this a loofah? That's so funny. I sent her a loofah as well, but this is in my favorite color. Fuchsia slash magenta. Up next, we have a doll toilet. Is it a toilet for Shrek? It is. Look, he look, he could, he could sit there. You know what I mean? He doesn't sit too well. He kind of just lurks. <gasps> Oh no, the Texas heat partially melted the squishies. The other thing is a hair clip. But look, I mean, it's still fun. This apple looks like, I can't tell what kind of expression this is. Does he look frightened or, or happy? But I love this side, particularly. Look, it looks quite realistic. Ah! I'm ripping the squishy. I love clips like this. I'm always using them and I'm always breaking them. So I always need replacements and I really love the big clips like this. We got another squishy, which I accidentally just ripped. I like the limes expression a little bit better. He's like, ooh. It's so funny to me how it's like a mix of like photorealism and cartoony bits. Good coffee is a pleasure. Good friends are a treasure. Like I always need towels like this. I mean, just in the kitchen, but also like to lay my brushes out on when I'm washing my makeup brushes. Oh my God. All right, you guys, this very well may be my favorite item. I feel like this is like a fashion scrunchie. You know what I mean? It's not just for pulling your hair back. It's also for fashion. We have fun dip one of my absolute favorite candies. I feel like people also make like these super sour drink recipes now with fun dip. Up next, are these udders? Those are hearts. Somehow I mistook udders for hearts. These are gonna be perfect. Once again, for my fashion transition videos, I feel like I've been saying this a lot, which is like, I don't have enough weird or funny socks. Big plans. Ew. Okay, I actually love, wait, did I just open it? Oh next week. I was like, did I just open it exactly to this week? This is actually like a really nicely formatted planner. I feel like I always just need like another planner in addition to my normal planner just to like help me keep track of like different dates and like scheduling content and stuff like that. So I'm probably gonna use this one. We're like wrapping up here. Oh, we have multi-purpose puppy clips. I feel like we're always misplacing our little like chip clips. They almost look like they could also be teddy bears. This is so cute. It's a splash ring. Oh my gosh. It's a donut and a cookie. If it was daytime, I would totally inflate these and put them in the pool. But like, look, once again, they look like they're going to be like that photo realistic stuff. So this is so cute. You know what? If you follow me on snap, I will inflate these and I'll take a picture and I will post them there so that y'all can see. Two things left. <laughs> They're emoji stickers. But I do really love this like robot. So it looks like all of the sheets are the same stickers, but I just wanted to make sure because last time when I did my Timu video, I was like so shocked. There was like stickers that I didn't even know were there in different designs. Before I forget, let me see. Did this ever mat down. Oh my gosh, look at that. I feel like there is a drying process. It's like not smearing anymore or as much. I guess if you like really go crazy with it, it will still smear, but I feel like less than when I first swatched it. And last but not least, we've got Squishy Pals. So many to collect. Gummy feel. I love things like, oh my God, you guys. It's a big mochi squishy chicken. I don't know what I thought it was gonna be. I don't think I've ever had a mochi squishy that's like this big like this. You know what I mean? They're always, I feel like much smaller and like in the shapes of like little animals or something. This one feels like much more satisfying to me because it's almost like I'm just touching an egg yolk or something. I feel like I love everything. Now we can make some funfetti cake. I've got some pool floaties to swim around in the pool with. I think that the scrunchie and the socks are probably my favorite items. I feel like it was really fun because I can't recall seeing any of this stuff in my local Dollar Tree. I'm hoping that our next swap is going to be a Timu swap. I think that, that would be really fun and you guys know she 
she like really got me down the Timu rabbit hole. And so I think that that would be like really fun to see what we pick out for each other since we both love Timu so much. Be sure and check out the first link in the info box down below. I will have her swap video linked for you guys so y'all can go see what I sent to her. Also be sure and subscribe to her channel. If you love like hauls and just all kinds of fun stuff like mystery boxes, Amazon return palettes and stuff like that as well. Um, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy watching her videos. They're always like so fun and relaxing. I feel like we've been friends for like, it has to be like over a year now. I'm pretty sure we started talking in like 2021. It's 2023 now. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swan family and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye.